Hi there, my name is Manny Papamanos. On this first tutorial, we'll explore the basics and the user interface of XSI to get you started as quick as possible. Keep in mind that I always use a foundation version, which is quite inexpensive and also commercial ready. Okay, so let's start. File, interaction model, Query tools and out camera navigation. This is a very important feature for Maya users, and I tend to see a lot of Maya users nowadays. Therefore, this um, style of navigation was uh, created especially for you. As for the rest of us, just keep it to um, the default Softimage XSI. Okay, let's call it primitive polygon mesh sphere. Notice also a personal preference that I use. I don't like to uh, click on shift when I select multiple polys as such and we'll see how to do that in a moment therefore that feature is under select extended component selection that's a personal preference okay and also I always enable select single object and region and finally notice on on the operate uh, the property page here if I pin it down when I select other tabs as such they will switch to the information on that tab by default it's not set this way therefore if you prefer it this way I do it's a lot I find it's a lot less convoluted that actual option is under file preferences which uh, leads you to the global preferences interaction and there it is tab st under property editors views tab style property editors if I disable it notice that it will seem somewhat more convoluted at least I do find that it does okay great let's continue as for navigation all you need to use is the S shortcut S and right mouse click will orbit, S and middle mouse click will dolly, and for tracking that's uh, you just click on the, light, the left mouse button. Okay, as for display, you can change the display on every window right here, instead of shaded to constant or wireframe, and uh, a popular one is hidden line removal. Okay, now here's a polygon mesh there are also surfaces available. I highly recommend that you don't use surfaces and that you only use polygon meshes. The only time that I tend to use surfaces is when I need to deform or constrain to a surface. Surfaces are curve based and polygons, at least in XSI, are very very powerful and basically all um, new games and uh, whatnot you're really much better off uh, going with polygon meshes okay they're really um, uh, the new texturing tools are really geared towards polygons and also the modeling tools are quite incredible and work really well with polygons okay so remember when you call an uh, object uh, by instinct always go for polygon mesh in XSI okay and as for the Explorer, the Explorer is somewhat of your best friend. Just click on 8 to open the floating Explorer window as you can see here. As we can see there's some objects already in our scene. There's a sphere. The light has a little H associated with it which means that it's hidden. Just click on the H again and it will unhide it. F will frame the light. I can switch to wireframe in order to view it. F will frame it. If we have many objects in our scene, like a torus that's located over here, I can click A and that will frame all, the A shortcut. Okay, let's delete the torus for now and select the sphere. Click F for frame. Also Shift F will frame in all windows and select the light and just simply hide it with the H shortcut. Let's uh, look into some polygon uh, uh, modeling tools. Let's switch this, uh, the display here to hidden line removal. You can select edge loops as such. Actually, to select edges, here we go again, edge loop. Uh, to select edges, that's the I shortcut as such. To select polygons, that's the U shortcut as such. To select points, that's the T shortcut. Okay, T for tag. Great. And obviously when you switch to uh, polygon or just simply click on I to go to edge mode, it will remember the, la the edges, which is quite important. Now, of course there's some 
important tools here for edge selection as we saw before uh, select an edge loop we can do this here we go again select that edge loop great and uh, we can also select a parallel edge loop as such great we can also uh, to select edges assuming from parallel uh, in uh, uh, between this edge and this edge simply click on alt I and alt right here right there and it will select the edges in parallel I can do that also for rows such as I right here and alt and I right there it will select that row which is great I can then go ahead and uh, use tools such as alt right click this menu is um, uh, pertains to uh, edges specific to edges which is great I can then go and extrude along axis and uh, play with the extrusion and uh, subdivisions and whatnot okay I can select a polygon over here a single poly alt right click and select adjacent points and uh, if I want to extrude those extrude along axis I can add more subdivision uh, and the important thing about polygons is that at any point you can add subdivision surface which is great you can also use the tweak tool with the M shortcut as you can see here you can tweak directly as uh, 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 the object is subdivided G will remove the grid the scenes grid and an important tool you can use uh, with the tweak and of course the tweak tool can be used with polys uh, points or edges depending on where your cursor is positioned of course an important feature that you can use with the um, tweak tool is proportional if you enable proportional here notice that it will now uh, when you try to uh, enable the M shortcut it will give you a radius that radius can be modified by clicking on the R shortcut and middle mouse clicking to make it bigger you can make it really big and therefore when you move an edge it will modify a range as such great yeah, mo uh, modelers really like XSI. For modeling, it's quite impressive what it can do. Okay, let's uh, remove the subdivision surfaces. What else? Yes, a very important is uh, the way that XSI is so non-destructive. Let's look into that. If you click on the 8 shortcut to open the Explorer, expand on Sphere, and expand on Polygon Mesh, anything that deals with uh, topology is going to be, uh, or uh, yeah, topology is going to be under Polygon Mesh. Notice that there's a bunch of extrudes here. I can go at any time and delete one of them. Undo, delete the other one. It will delete this part. Or go into the move components. Uh, this is from the tweak tool. And delete any one that I want. Okay. But also of importance is the fact that you can freeze uh, the modeling stack the operators in the modeling stack you can simply um, assuming that you want to freeze from this point on down because everything in XSI gets evaluated from the bottom going up so if I want to freeze from here down simply click freeze great now this is important to freeze your object because every uh, topology change that you make will get registered okay so it uh, will actually make your model feel kind of heavy so it's important to freeze. If you simply want to freeze everything, select the object and click freeze. Let's undo. If you simply want to uh, freeze everything under the modeling operator, such as we can do here, click on freeze M. There we go. Notice that freeze may be destructive, so be very careful because it can freeze operators in the animation stack or uh, secondary and shape. Okay. So let's delete this and quickly let's call a sphere primitive polygon mesh sphere and let's also call a cube primitive polygon mesh cube position the cube lower and select the sphere and say that the sphere is the parent of the cube great now of course if you move the sphere the cube will follow even if you rotate it as such and actually we didn't look at SRTs these are the SRTs scaling is can also be called with the X 